Good morning. Today's assembly is going to be about tolerance and it's a word that gets used quite a lot and it's something that is really important that people have and something that will really help you throughout your life. So I'd like to talk you through what tolerance is, different examples of it and how it, it can apply to your everyday life. So what exactly is tolerance? Being able to tolerate or to have toleration is allowing or accepting that an idea, an action, something someone does, um, and you may not like it or you may disagree with it, but you are going to accept it. So someone may do something that you don't like, but you're not going to make a big fuss. You're just going to accept that people are different. And there can be a lot of different things that people can disagree with or not like. Um, and you're going to come across that and you probably are already thinking things that you may tolerate and you wish you did agree with them, um, but you don't, but you just um, accept that that's the case. So I'm going to ask your tutors to pause uh, the video now and to discuss, can you think think of any ideas that you don't agree with but you just accept and you tolerate so how can you become more tolerant so be patient and some people are very quick to make judgments and not accept other people's views but try to become more patient try to think about someone else's point of view and try and think about their life, their upbringing, maybe what their parents were like, and try to think, well, that explains why they have be they think that, rather than just not understanding it and in butting heads over it. Also, accept that you're not always going to like what other people think and what they may say, and you just need to accept that. And it's a more peaceful life once you accept that, rather than trying to have arguments all the time. Once you do accept this, I promise you, your life will be a lot more peaceful. So when is the last time that you had to be tolerant? Can you think of something recently where you've had to, from uh, without any choice of your own, had to be tolerant? So I have a video that's going to go through some of the main differences that we have in the world and why tolerance is so important and why there are so many differences everywhere. So what did you think that video was about? There wasn't actually anyone talking over it. It was actually a piece of music playing over loads of images. So tutors, please, can you pause the video and ask your tutees, what did they think that was about?
So the world has many different religions and races, and there is no doubt that differences cause conflict. As soon as someone disagrees with something, that is where conflict starts. But once you accept that, it's a lot more peaceful for everyone. And you might have met um, people in your life who uh, don't argue a lot, they're very passive. Um, it doesn't mean they don't have their own opinions, but those people tend to be a lot more peaceful in life and um, come across a lot better. So what do you think a conflicting opinion means? And can you think of an example? Tutors, please can you pause the video to discuss? So I've got a lesson here, which is from um, Angry Birds. Those stinking pigs. I hate those pigs. I'm so angry at those pigs. I'm so angry. I could just smash them into bacon bits. I don't know what to say. We were just really angry at them. I don't think of myself as a bigot, but when it comes to pigs, we've always just hated them. Hey, birds! You think you're so awesome. You're nothing. That slingshot's just for show. <laughs> they think they're so cool, because they can fly, and because they can regulate their body temperature without soaking in mud. <laughs> but really, they're just omelets with wings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, we're not going to let you talk to us that way. Pigs, prepare to feel my wrath. Yeah, bring it on. You're going to regret messing with this one seriously angry bird. <laughs> Where is he? What's going on? <laughs> hmm? I thought I was angry. When I saw that helpless little blind piggy, all that anger just flew away. I guess I just realized that I don't have to be angry, that it's actually a choice. Pretty deep for a brain the size of a jelly bean, huh? What happened? Where's that angry bird? Oh, he uh, flew the coop. Here, let me help you down before those nasty birds come back. And the rest is history. Birds and pigs put their anger aside and lived in harmony working together to build complex machines for blind pigs to get around easier. So that video was um, obviously a really crude um, example of something and you know you're not going to be angry at a bunch of pigs and then come across a blind pig and want to help them of course um, but it does make you think that actually there are things you might be angry about because you don't actually know the truth or understand the other person so can you think of anything or any people who you find it hard to show tolerance to so just think to yourself, is there someone or something that just makes you angry and you can't tolerate? And are there things that you think should be tolerated and you wish you'd tolerate them more? Or do you think that if you were tolerant about it, you'd actually feel better and more peaceful? What do you think are the effects of people being intolerant to each other? So, for example, in your home or in school, your community, um, if people do not tolerate differences in opinions, um, well, how do you think that affects people? So if you disagree all the time, what's the impact of that intolerance? How do you think you could encourage others to show a lot more tolerance? So if you notice that one of your friends tends to get into a lot of arguments quite a lot, then what can you do to help that become a lot more peaceful and encourage that tolerance? 
So here's a brilliant quote, it's from Marvin J. Ashton. If we could look into each other's hearts and understand the unique challenges that each of us faces, I think we would treat each other much more gently with more love, patience, tolerance and care. What do you think this quote means? Can you pause the video and discuss? A lot of people think that being tolerant is a weakness, but a quote from the Dalai Lama, compassion and tolerance are not a sign of weakness, but actually a sign of strength. People that are more peaceful and don't argue tend to be a lot stronger as people. And the people that go around having a lot of arguments think that they're being strong, but actually they are the weaker person because they can't handle it. It's a lot more impressive when you have people who are more